In today's video, I want to show you a compact power station with features that are only found in high-end units. Hello everyone, my name is Dan and welcome to Freely Roaming. Today I want to show you the EcoFlow River 2. It is a power station that's been out for a few weeks now and I'm stoked to finally get my hands on one. There are three versions of the River 2. This one that I have is the smallest one and has 256 watt hours of capacity. The River 2 Max is the next size up at 512 watt hours. And the biggest version is the River 2 Pro with 768 watt hours. For its tiny form factor, it's got some pretty impressive specs. Now let me go over those with you. The EcoFlow River series come with lithium iron phosphate batteries with rate of cycle life of 3000 cycles before it goes to 80%. This little guy weighs in at only 7.7 .7 pounds. As you can tell, it's super tiny. It's 9.6 inches wide, 8.5 inches deep. That's including that little handle that protrudes and 5.7 inches tall. It has a bi-directional USB-C power delivery port in the front that can supply and receive up to 60 watts. It has two USB-A outlets, has a lighter socket that's up to 100 watts of output. And it's got a 300 watt pure sine wave inverter with a 600 watt surge capacity. It's got a three prong AC outlet and as well as a two prong AC outlet. And it can charge completely full with the included AC charger in just one hour. The AC charger in fact is actually built into this unit. Compared to a lot of units, even the bigger ones that have external power bricks, this one is totally encapsulated inside. That's why you only have this three prong plug receiver in on this side and it just a uh, cable that goes out to the wall. One of the high-end features it has is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. And it's also got a mobile app that's really cool, which I'll show you guys in this video. It has an amazing five-year warranty, which compared to a lot of other manufacturers that only offer one or two years. You can charge it with the built-in AC charger. You can charge it through the car adapter using this XT60 port. You can also charge it through the bi-directional USB-C power delivery port at 60 watts. Lastly, you can charge it with solar. And the best solar panel to pair with this guy is EcoFlow's perfectly sized 110 watt portable solar panel. Since this power station has the maximum input solar capacity of 110 watts. So these two are a perfect match. EcoFlow also has their new 220 watt bifacial portable solar panel, which I also got my hands on. And I'll show you guys that today as well. If you've never heard of bifacial panels, it has photovoltaic cells in the front as well as the back of the glass. Their bifacial panel has 220 watts of solar cells in the front and 155 watts of solar cells in the back. Of course, you can only face one side of your solar panels to the sun, but the cool thing about bifacial panels is that the rear side can get solar charge from reflections. When it's sitting on grass, it can reflect more than 7% of the capacity from the backside, 9.5% on cement, nearly 10% on sand, 14.8% on snow, and the most capacity from the backside you can capture is 25% when using a mirror. These panels also work really well in shade because the way that they're connected internally with serious and parallel wiring ensures that partial shade doesn't bog down the entire panel. It is also IP68 rated. It can actually be submerged completely underwater for 24 hours without any damage. Of course you're not going to do that, but it guarantees that nothing will happen to your panel if it was left out in the rain accidentally. The carrying case also doubles as a kickstand, which is a clever little piece of design. Now let me give you guys a little look on the mobile app, a demo of the solar panel, how it's set up, and of course, capacity test for the River 2. Okay, so when you first log into the, uh, the EcoFlow app, it'll show you all your EcoFlow devices. Here you see you have the River 2. Initially, when you add this device to your account, it'll connect it to the local Wi-Fi network which means that you can actually access all your devices when they're connected to the internet from anywhere in the world, which is actually a really neat feature. You can almost kind of use that as a smart home appliance. So when I click on it, it'll show me the available time that's left, shows me how much power is coming in, coming out. If I click on the settings, it'll tell me my AC charging speed, my car input, amperage, DC mode, if it's gonna be solar or car charging or put it on auto so just switch it by switches by itself x boost is when you can use the surge capability to get an extra 300 watts of output on your ac inverter and just various settings so let me plug in the charger to the wall 
me show you how this works. So now I got the AC charger plugged in. The charging circuit's kicking on. I'm going to show you how fast it is charging. Basically, all the data you see on the front of the screen shows up here. This is the really amazing part. This is charging at 350 watts, basically, from the wall. For, for a pack in here, that's only 250 watt hours-ish. This is super fast. As you can see, from 53%, it'll be charged full in 27 minutes. And that's really incredible. Now, something that I worry about is the... The charge rate. I prefer to charge my lithium iron phosphate batteries at no faster than 1C rate, which in this case will be 250 watts. And if you want to uh, make it last even longer, you can charge it even slower if you want. And that's what's cool about this app. You can actually go into the settings and you can dial down your charging rate. I can dial it like watt by watt. I can go all the way down to 50 watts if I want. So now if I do that, I'll go back, you can see it's automatically gone down to 50 watts, which is pretty cool. And then it recalculates the time, and if I wanted to charge faster, I can dial it right back up right here in the app, up to 360 watts of charge. And in no time, the charger in there starts ramping up the current. Now we're charging again at 350 watts. So let's say if I have something plugged into the inverter. So I'm going to turn on the AC side. Okay, so now I've got a an AC device plugged in. I'm going to try to draw some power from it. Here we go. Now you can see that its output is 134 watts. And so what's happening? It's actually using the ability of pass-through charging to boost the AC output directly through the uh, the wall outlet. So instead of bringing in just 350 watts, it is now bringing in 480 watts and then going directly through the unit. And if power were to go out, let's say I unplug this charger from the wall, the power instantly goes out, but it didn't affect the output at all. So this is one of their technologies that's inside a unit that switches from Instead of draining from the battery, it'll drain, it'll go straight from the wall into the device that you're using. And when you, when you unplug it, when the power goes out, it switches to the battery in as low as 30 milliseconds. So now if I plug it back in, power on the wall comes back on. And now, instead of charging at 350 watts, it's going to go ahead and pass through the 130 watts that it's using and go all the way up to 460, 450 watts again. So that's pretty cool. You can essentially use this as a uh, uninterrupted power supply as well as a power station. And then you can tap on the output side and you see that we have the AC outlet, the 12 volt, if we have something plugged in from the USB, you'll see something there as well. So I can actually remotely from anywhere in the world turn off the AC side and the DC side. And now you see the wall is only coming in at 350 watts again. I turn AC back on. I'll we'll begin outputting power. And I'll ramp up what's coming in from the wall as well. So this is super cool. These are smart features essentially. Kind of like you would have in a smart home. You can control an outlet on this EcoFlow River 2 from anywhere in the world as long as it's got internet connection. All right, here's the 220 watt EcoFlow bifacial panel. And then here's their little one, 110 watt little size comparison it is basically exactly twice the size if you lay this on top so I'm gonna show you guys how these two uh, are set up okay so when you, when you take out the bag you got this kind of four pieces connected together four individual sections and the bag just kind of unzips on three sides 
these corners have little clips on them. You clip them to the panel. Here you can see, you get a good look at the bifacial panel. How it looks from the back, and how it looks from the front. That's compared to the normal non-bifacial panel with only cells in the front. There you go. Here they are fully deployed. As you can see, this is how you use the uh, carrying case as a kickstand. That's a 220 watt. And here's the 110. Really nice panels. And they just have MC4 connectors. You can plug in any battery to this to charge. Or power station anyways, if you've got the right adapter. And for the River 2, you're going to want the MC4 to XT60, which comes with it. So this is ready to go for the River 2. Works on this one too. Now we're down to 6% left in this EcoFlow River 2. And we are at just under 200 watt hours. And the voltage is only sagged a little from 12.0 to 11.8. It's doing pretty good. It could actually be a regulated DC output. 1%, 1% remaining. Still, still 11.8 volt. So that voltage regulation is pretty good. And we are almost to 220 watt hours. So it says two minutes left. And it's rated for 256 watt hours. So we're not gonna get close to that. And I didn't expect it to. Any power station is, uh, not going to hit its rate of capacity. I've never had a power station come close within 90% actually. But this will be like in the high 80 percentile. So that's reasonable. That's within the realm of uh, acceptability. Completely down to 0% now. We got 224.54 watt hours. That is our EcoFlow. River 2 DC discharge results. AC capacity test underway for the EcoFlow River 2. So one other funky thing is that the uh, the outlet for this EcoFlow is upside down. So this power meter has to be upside down. Coincidentally, I'm using it to charge this power station and the power station down here. Their outlets are upside down too. So maybe it's fitting. So it's pulling 128 watts. So this should deplete in about two hours. 1% left. One minute left. We've burned through 204 watt hours charging from this battery to this battery through the AC inverter. So we will wait until this completely dies and then we'll see what percentage efficiency we got out of this that's it it's done that is all the battery there is so let's see what we got if I plug this in to the wall I'll be able to read the output Two twelve. 212 watt hours is what we got out of this EcoFlow River 2 in an AC inverter discharge test. It took an hour and 30 minutes. That's actually pretty good. I mean, compared to uh, the other small power bank, which we got less than 200. This one's uh, performed, I think, relatively well. All right, going to charge that back up. We'll uh, get to review the pros and cons of this unit. Eco. So there you go. That's the EcoFlow River 2 and their portable solar setup. Even though this unit has features found only in high-end units, it is super compact and affordable. Right now it's on sale for only $219 on their website. I'm not sure if I like the 
carrying case as a kickstand feature that they have on the solar panels. But I'm going to be using this for the next few months and time will tell how it stands up to my abuse. In the coming week, we will be crossing the border down into Mexico. And if things go as planned, we hope to make it all the way down to the bottom tip of South America. We'll be taking some of the gear that we've been reviewing with us for some real world tests and make more videos for you guys. And because we're limited in space, we can't take everything with us. But this EcoFlow River 2 made the cut. This will be coming with us down to South America. If you're interested in checking out the EcoFlow River lineup, take advantage of the EcoFlow Black Friday deals right now going on until November 28th. It is their biggest sale of the season with some products up to 50% off. I will leave all the special links of the sale in the description below. And if you're in the market for one of these, don't miss it. I hope you guys have found this video helpful in my reviewing of the EcoFlow River 2 and its solar panels. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. I'll do my best to try to answer every single one of them. I hope you guys are having a good weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one.